finally, I know a couple of weeks ago you did an interview or you were with Amir Khan. A couple of days ago, Amir Khan put a post out calling out Floyd Mayweather. What did you make of that Instagram post? I wish, I wish Amir, seriously, I love Amir, he's a nice kid, but I wish that Amir Khan was getting some form of counselling or advice from people to tell him what to say because he's an old man and sometimes you need a team around you. You need a team around you to, to start structuring things and you also need boxing people who are real. Do you understand? So unfortunately when you're, he, li he lives in, it's a delusional world and it's sad because bottom line is this, you want to fight, don't call out Floyd Mayweather who is meant to be retired because you see Floyd licking bags the other day you figure oh well maybe there's a chance. M.A. Khan, unfortunately, is going to go down in history as a man who wasted his career waiting for Manny Pacquiao and waiting for Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. You can make a power move right now in the UK and sell out, sell out an arena in a real grudge match because no one loves a grudge match more than the Brits. You and Kell Brook. But the reason why, I'm not saying you're scared of Kell Brook, but in your back of your mind somewhere you're scared of losing because it is... It is like a War of the Roses kind of thing. And you know you couldn't, you couldn't save face if you were to lose to Kelbrook. And that is the thing. You can lose to Garcia. You can lose to Lamont Peterson. You can get knocked out by Canelo. They are not men from your own country. But if it's a guy from your own turf, oh, it's going to burn. It's going to burn. <laughs> Ciao, cool. Raz. Peace, two fingers. I know the press is going to start. Keep up the good work. Keep it fight hype. Ringside toe to toe. Hashtag toe to toe. Sky Sports. We're doing our thing. Ben Safaran for fighthype.com. Thank you very much. He's vanished.